I don't know if you've ever heard of sleep paralysis. People have different understandings of this phenomenon. In some folklore, it's believed that an entity sits upon your chest at night and makes it unable for you to move or speak. Science, of course, has an explanation for everything. Not that it always makes sense, but they say it's a state during waking up when your mind wakes up before your body, yada yada. But I'm telling you now that that's not entirely true. The first time I experienced this, I was four years old. I woke up in the darkness of my room and found that I couldn't move my body. I looked around my room and I saw a tall figure staring at me from a distance. I struggled to regain control of my body out of sheer terror and when I succeeded, it had vanished. I ran to my parents' room. I slept in between them and I felt safe. In the morning, I told my dad about what happened at night. Don't worry about it, Daniel, he said. It was just your imagination. I believed my dad, of course, and from then on, whenever it happened, I convinced myself that it wasn't real and I was okay. I stopped experiencing this a few weeks after and I was happy it had stopped. Or so I thought. My parents were very busy, so I was sent off to a boarding school when I was in high school. And that was when it started again. But this time, something was different. The black figure was closer than it used to be when I was four. I also started having this feeling of being in two realities at the same time. On one occasion, my roommate Kevin was on a call when it happened, and I was also hearing the honk from a car. I regained control of my body and asked him if he was just on a call. Yeah, I was, dude. I thought you were asleep. He said. No, I said. And I continued to ask him if he'd heard the honking of a car. He rolled his eyes and said no. Did I forget to mention that Kevin was a douche? Yes, he is a big douche. I wonder why I got paired with him sometimes. I went home for a midterm break and told my parents that I'm seeing the black figure again. But my dad just said I need to stop watching so many horror movies. That they can creep up from your subconscious and induce experiences like the one I keep having. I didn't experience it again after that conversation with my dad. Fast forward to a year before I finished high school. I came back from the toilet and lay down on my bed and slept. I woke up, paralysed, and I saw him again. And this time, he was closer than before. A few metres away from my bed. I tried to regain control of my body, but it was harder this time. I cried silently, but eventually it worked. My parents took me to a doctor when I came home again with the same complaints. The doctor, Sarah, gave some scientific explanation which, of course, I wasn't paying attention to, and gave me some pills for my insomnia because I developed a fear of sleeping at that point. It's been three years since I last saw the black figure or experienced sleep paralysis and I was somewhat happy. But the fear that it was going to come back again and closer 
always lingered at the back of my mind. And it did. I was two years into university when it happened. But what happened this time chilled me to the bone. At first I had that feeling of experiencing another dimension simultaneously. And I started feeling as if my soul was being pulled out of my body. And then I saw it. It was just a few inches from my bed. I waited for it to do something. For it to harm me. But it did nothing. I just watched it. It was as if this figure was observing me for some unknown reason. A few weeks later, I started waking up with handprints on my body. When I spoke to anybody about this, they convinced me that people often self-harm unintentionally while they sleep. I started surfing the net, obsessively, about this phenomenon. That was when I came across a YouTube page. It explained the phenomenon as a gift. The YouTuber, who was very charismatic and smiled throughout his video, you couldn't help but love him. He said that it's a key. A key to the astral plane. A gift bestowed upon a few. And when he said this, a smile spread across my face. I felt special in that moment. He also went ahead to explain how the feeling of experiencing two worlds at the same time is having one foot in the astral plane and having one foot in our reality. It all made sense to me. I clicked out of YouTube and rushed over to Facebook and joined many groups for astral projection. In the group, I asked them about the dark figure and they gave many explanations. But the one that stuck to my mind was an explanation a woman gave. She said they were called the shadow people and were relatively harmless. She went on to explain that you can conquer them in the astral plane. All you had to do is not struggle. Allow your soul to leave your body. And when you're in the astral plane, you order them to leave you alone. I decided that the next time this happened, I'll be brave and deal with this problem once and for all. It was a mistake. The day came and I didn't struggle. I found myself outside my body, but the dark figure wasn't there. I found myself back inside my body after a few seconds, but something was different. My body was active, moving, doing everything, but it wasn't me. Something has hijacked my body. Well, I know who it is. The dark figure did this to me. As I write this now, he's sleeping. Because he went to a party and he's drunk. I'm temporarily in control of my body now. If anybody finds this note, please help me. My name is Daniel Porter. Signing out. Please, please find a way to help me.